Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine, and today at the Central Coast Grape Expo, hundreds of growers gathered here at the Mid-State Fairgrounds in Paso Robles for a wonderful industry event that takes place only every other year here in the Central Coast. One of the uh, featured speakers today was Doug Gubler, Emeritus uh, Plant Pathologist at UC Davis. Although he's no longer working full-time, he was happy to come and address growers here today at the show and he talked about controlling various trunk diseases in the vineyard. Here's Doug. In terms of canker diseases and post-harvest uh, procedures that you might follow, it's, it's really important if, if you're using mechanical harvesting equipment to uh, go in and, and make sure you've treated the wounds that you, know, you see these spur positions and cordon dripped off. And so it's important to to make sure that that wood is treated with something. And since it occurs this early, it's probably better that it be treated with something like Vitaseal or B-Lock that, that is a long-term solution. It's not going to wear away like a regular fungicide. And then uh, later as, as uh, pruning time uh, comes around, it's again really important that the, the pruning wounds are treated with, with something and again our research shows that late pruning is by far the best way to get around these canker diseases and followed by some kind of a fungicide application or, or one of the products that we have available for use. So treating the wounds is the big thing. You know for years we, we had uh, Benlight that was registered for use and growers used it initially but then they found out that uh, five, seven, ten years later they still had as many pruning wound problems, disease problems as before and, and the reason was is that they were treating only one time, Benlite only lasts two weeks or so and so it needed to be reapplied and, and because it was hand applied that reapplication was way too expensive for most growers to do. If you had a small vineyard, you could go in and do it. But with a large vineyard, hand application two to three times during the winter is just not, not feasible. So, and then we got the products registered for tractor applications, so multiple applications can be made much more economically. Thanks, Doug. Gain more of the proceedings of today's event in the coming issues of American Vineyard Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.